Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ontario, the land of my birth, for decades the centre of fortune and mirth, where hard work and sacrifice defined our self-worth, where none could imagine dependence and dearth. It still looks familiar, but our status has changed. From have to have not, our role rearranged. From the core of the country, our positions exchanged. Now near the bottom, the fiscally estranged. What is their plan to make the pain stop? What bills in the books to avoid further drop? What bold new ideas will put us back at the top? What reprieve from the damage of the five-point flop? Nothing new, says the Premier, just continuous blame. Just the same old McGinty publicity game. More taxes for all, more bans to proclaim. And phony debates that make critics cry shame. More smiles for cameras, more smug condescending. More wasteful bureaucratic spending. More government hands overextending everywhere but in sectors that really need mending. Okay. They won't listen to reason, they won't answer our questions, they refuse to admit their unending obsession with spending announcements that march out in procession along the dark road that leads straight towards recession. <laughs> they have left us exposed and economically prone through short-sighted vision and mistakes all their own. They still only blame others, abdicating their throne. Ontario, now we stand alone.